What is up guys? Welcome back for another UU Live. Today we are using Dom's team. This is a really cool team that he passed me and I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, I only played one game, but like I really, really like the way it works, the team dynamic. Uh, it's really strong. He's got a modest um, max special attack and pulling on here with Shookaberry, which is actually really good because uh, Torrent Boosted Scalds are absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. This thing lives Earthquake uh, from Banded Crocodile because of the Shookaberry. Uh, gets off a Scald and knocks it out. Ice Beam is good. Grass Knot is amazing. For Swampert, of course, I believe we outspeed uh, min speed Swampert as well. Uh, Flash Cannon is nice for the fairies in the tier, of course. Then we have a uh, little bow. I like the nicknames too. Mumble little bow. Uh, there's one I really enjoy too. Uh, Pixie Plate boosted Moonblast is really cool. Giga Drain is awesome once again to be able to hit the uh, quad weeks in the tier, such as Seismitoad. Well, Seismitoad is more RU, but it still finds itself up here sometimes. Uh, hits um, hits Swampert, things like that. Uh, Moonblast is nice uh, just in general. It's great. It's uh, Fairy is just an amazing offensive typing man. Uh, Encore is like staple on this thing. It's so so strong. Uh, and U-turn for momentum. Uh, we have three U-turners on the team actually, which is really cool. The next one is Gliger here. Uh, I might replace U-turn with Roost because this thing loses a lot of viability because it gets uh, worn down really quickly and you don't have wish passing into it anywhere on the team. So, I mean, its main role here is to get up Stealth Rocks and defog other hazards away. So, I guess maybe not Roost. But uh, getting rid of the flying typing is always nice. And um, he's got a cool EV spread. He's uh, impish with uh, 252 special defense to be able to take uh, special hits better because of the EV light. Earthquake is nice on there. Uh, our last U-Turner here is Mega B Drill Soyphone. I love, I love this nickname, Dom. I didn't know you watched Bleach, man. This is... This is awesome. Bleach is one of my favorite animes when I was growing up, so this is, uh, this is a blast from the past right here. But uh, Mega B Drill is so, so strong. With, like, paired with this team, it's so good. Uh, U-turn, Poison Jab, Protect, and Drill Run. Protect is just such a good move. Like, Entei comes in, and it's, if it's Banded Entei, it goes for either Sacred Fire or, um, or Extreme Speed. If it goes for Extreme Speed, as you protect, you switch into, like, Empoleon. If it goes for Sacred Fire, you stay in and you U-turn, so it's very, very strong. Uh, we've got a Fire Resist right here, one of the two, obviously, uh, being Tyrantrum. It uh, doesn't want to get burned, but uh, we have the Yachi Berry to be able to take Ice Hits, which is really nice, because this thing Spideff is pretty garbage, uh, with 60. Uh, we are Max Attack, Max Speed, Jolly. Uh, with a uh, Outrage, Head Smash, and Earthquake set, which is very nice. And of course, the resident uh, best wall breaker in the tier being Entei, Sacred Fire, Extreme Speed, Stone Edge, and Flare Blitz. Pretty, uh, pretty standard stuff. So uh, let's hop into it. Let's try to get a game. And I'll show you guys how the team works. I'm sure Dom knows how it works a lot better than I do. But uh, I'll try to show it off a little bit for you guys. Guys, check out Dom in the description. Uh, as always, I always, always, always leave links, or I try to always remember to leave links uh, to anybody uh, whose team I use on any one of my lives, or anybody that I mention, or anybody that I'm doing a live with. Uh, as you guys will see in a couple of days, uh, I have a treat for you coming out on Saturday. Uh, it's going to be very... Uh, it's, it's, it was fun. It was a fun uh, fun live to have uh, with the guys, but... My opponent is extremely Beedrill weak from what I can see right off the bat. The only thing that takes hits are... Uh, his Arcanine and his Gligar, everything else pretty much gets worn down super fast by Beedrill. Um, knowing that, I'm probably just going to lead with, uh, with Empoleon. Because Empoleon doesn't really care about too many leads on his team. Especially not this one. As I can just go for a Scald right here, try to get a burn. Uh, nothing wants to switch in on a Scald and get burned, except maybe Umbreon. Goes for the U-turn, that does a lot of damage. He's gonna know we're offensive from that damage. And uh, he's going to switch out into Espeon directly, predicting me to rocks, I guess. Uh, we're going to get off 52% right there. And I expect this thing to be a spec set. There's not much I can do about it, but at least I know it's set. Um, so I'm just going to Scald here. I mean, this thing can't really touch me, can it? He goes into Umbreon, that's fine. Uh, if we get a burn, that'd be unfortunate, because we we're going to get burned too. Uh, but that's okay. That's actually going to bring us into Torrent a little bit quicker. What I'm actually going to do here, because he's burned, I can safely go into Beedrill as well. It's not Mega Evolved yet, so this is pretty safe. Goes for the Heal Bell. He pretty much has to switch out on this U-Turn. He can't stay in. Or he can Protect. Uh, that works too. But I'm just going to U-Turn out. And uh, if he goes into Rocky Helmet Arcanine, we get to find out that that thing is Rocky Helmet, which is awesome. Uh, he actually chooses to go out into Kabalion, which is fine. Uh, we're going to get off a little bit of damage right here. And now I can go into my Gliger, threaten this thing out with an Earthquake, and just set up my Stealth Rocks. I assume he's going to do the same, not fearing that he could get knocked out by an Earthquake, which is the smart... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> wow, what just... 
What just hit me? Whoa. Uh, anyway, <laughs> knowing that uh, Gligar's Earthquake cannot knock, knock out Cobalion at all, uh, he can just go out into his own, own Gligar, exactly. And uh, now I pretty much have to U-turn out. And uh, probably go into... Uh, I think... What's best here? This thing is hard to kill for me, actually. Uh, I'm going to go into Entei because there's no way he Earthquakes right here. I'm going to try to get off a burn on something. He actually goes for Toxic, so that is a good play. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Sacred Fire here, though. Uh, get off a lot of damage on this thing. Get a burn, which is awesome. That's what I wanted. And uh, now that this thing is burned, its longevity is pretty much gone. So uh, now I'm going to switch out into my Whimsicott as he goes into the Arcanine, which is not exactly what I expected. Uh, but I also don't expect this thing to be Scarfed, so I can just safely go for the U-turn. Again, we get to find out if he's a defensive set, which he seems to be. Um, I can just safely go into, um, into Gligar here. He goes for the Flare Blitz. Uh, as you can see, it does a lot of damage, but not enough. And his Gligar is sitting at 50%. So actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to predict the Espeon to come in on my rocks. And I'm going to go for the Earthquake. He actually goes into Umbreon, which is a safer play, I guess. And uh, now I'm going to go for my rocks. If he predicts that and goes into Espeon now, then that's just a really good play. Because I could I could just as easily U-turn here. But he does. He does make that play, which is very good. And uh, now I am pretty much forced to uh, defog these away, actually. I have to keep them off my side. Uh, he actually chooses to go out into his Cobalion, okay. Uh, it's not like you get a, a boost from that or anything. You're not defiant, bro. Um, this is another opportunity for me to just go for Earthquake as he goes into Umbreon. That's fine. And now I'm going to U-turn out. Now I'm not going for Stealth Rocks. I know he's conditioned me to not go for Stealth Rocks at this point, but that's that's fine. Whatever. It's it's okay. Uh, his Umbreon's not burdened, so I can't really necessarily risk going into Beedrill directly. But his team is very weak now, to the point where uh, Tyrantrum with two Dragon Dances up can just win. I just have to find the right opportunity to get those two Dragon Dances up. And it's pretty much going to be when Arcanine goes for Flare Blitz and knocks something out. He does stay in with his Umbreon, so good play. I'm going to go into my Beedrill directly. I am risking it right here to the foul play. He goes for the Wish, though, which is awesome. Uh, what is he going to Wish up? Um, I would assume his Arcanine, potentially. I mean, either way, my play is always to U-turn. He's going to protect, so that's awesome. Uh, he doesn't even get to pass the wish into anything. I'm just going to U-turn once again. This is Adaptability U-turn from 399 attack. He is not going to enjoy this if he stays in. Uh, I don't think it, it knocks out Umbreon from full. There's no way. Beedrill's not that strong. He's actually going to choose to go into his own Beedrill and take over half. So that was a very curious play. I don't know why he made that play. Uh, but now I can go into, I can go into, uh, my, um, my Gligar right here, and I'm just gonna go for the U-turn, because he has no other play than to U-turn on me, and I'm assuming the Umbreon is gonna come back out, which gives me yet another switch back into Beedrill. The U-turning core is very, very strong right here. Uh, we are gonna get off this little bit of damage right here, and now we can go right back out into our Beedrill, just U-turn again. We've already seen that his Arcanine is not Rocky Helmet from when we hit it with U-turn with Whimsicott earlier. He's gonna go into Cobalion, that's absolutely fine. Uh, at this point, I'm going to uh, go hard into what? Um, I think into Entei, and just, uh, just Sacred Fire something, honestly. Yeah, because like he does not have a switch on his whole team. If his Arcanine is offensive, it's not going to enjoy this, so... Uh, he goes into Arcanine, it's going to take... Uh, oh, it's Flash Fire, okay. Alright, that makes sense. Um, so, I mean, at this point, um, Empoleon's kind of just sitting there doing nothing in the back, so I'm going to get rid of it right here. As he goes for the Morning Sun, actually, so that's good. Uh, we find out that he's actually not a fully offensive set, so that's awesome. I can go for the Scald right here, he's going to go for the Wild Charge, that is going to knock us out. And uh, now, now knowing his set... He should be E-Speed as his last move. So I'm going to go into uh, into our Tyrantrum here, and I'm going to start Dragon Dancing up. And I don't see a Scarfer. Uh, he goes into Umbreon on my Dragon Dance, so this is going to be Foul Play. Bait right here. Uh, he's definitely going to hit me extremely hard, but I do not think he's going to knock me out. Please tell me we're a Rockhead. Thank you. Uh, we're actually going to miss a head smash, so very unfortunate right there. He's going to go for the foul play. It's not going to be able to knock us out. I have to go for a head smash again, um, because then his Cobalion just comes in on Outrage and destroys me. So, got to get off as much damage as possible. He does go for another foul play right there. And uh, now this is getting harder and harder. Um, with no uh, reliable recovery across the whole team, this is just uh, a very, very tough matchup at this point. 
Do I predict the Arcanine coming in and go for Drill Run? I'm going to go for U-Turn first because he's probably going to protect to get a little bit more health back because he does have it. So I don't see why he would just stay in uh, and not protect. Yeah, there we go. And now I'm going to go for the Drill Run, predicting either Cobalion or the Arcanine to come in. He seems to want to conserve his uh, his sweep. So yeah, Cobalion's going to take this Drill Run. It's not going to appreciate it. It's going to take a lot of damage. That's, that is a crit, of course. And now I can just U-Turn out. Get my... Okay. Yeah, no, that doesn't kill. Why did I do that? Um, I mean, what would he go for? For Iron Head, right? Okay, I'm going into... Um, into our... Glagor right here. Uh, as he is going to go for Iron Head. It's not going to do too much. So now it's a 50-50. Do I get up rocks? Because they help immensely. He does not have hazard removal. Or do I predict the, um, uh, the Espeon coming in one last time? I mean, you know what? I'm going to double into Beedrill. Because it pretty much covers every play that he can make. Other than staying in, of course. So that was bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, that wasn't a good idea. Uh, I'm just going to Drill Run this time. Uh, it's fine if his Gligar comes in. I U-turn out on this. And uh, does he have rocks? He hasn't shown them. Uh, let's go for the... I mean, I'm going to go for U-turn because it's my best play, but he's probably got Roost on this thing, so that makes it a thousand times harder once again. Everything is just so so worn down. I shouldn't have switched into this. I should have just gotten up rocks. They would have helped so much. You know what? I'm going back into my Glagger. Um, yeah, he goes for Roost. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. All right, please, please, please don't go in Espeon. Please don't go in Espeon. <laughs> I have to pray that he does not go Espeon here. Because, like, I've been playing around it the whole time. The way I brought it in, though, he's probably going to predict me to... Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay, cool. He goes for the Toxic. That's perfectly fine. Uh, as what I'm actually going to do is click Stealth Rocks again. Okay, well, that didn't work out because he is faster. I mean, I'm faster. All right, well, I'm going for U-Turn here because he should predict the Rocks at this point. Nope, he doesn't. Okay. All right, going into a uh, boat. Let's see what we can do. He goes to the roost. That's fine. Does he have stealth rocks on anything on his team? I guess it's Cobalion, right? Uh, I could just encore this. Realistically. Uh, how low is his B drill? Thirty-one. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go for the moon blast actually to weaken this Glagger because it's getting annoying, and uh, it goes down to twenty percent. And now I'm going to... I'm going to Moonblast again. I just want to get rid of this. You know what? Let's let's get it out. Let's get it out. I'm tired of it. And uh, I let my entire team get weakened. That wasn't a good idea. Goes into his Beedrill. Um, I mean, I don't have a play. I have to stay in. Just go for the Moonblast. He's going to go for the Poison Jab. Obviously, that's going to take us out. Uh, actually, looking at it... Hold on a second. Zumbreon's at 40. Hmm. Wait a minute. We might still be able to win this. Uh, I know it looks bleak, <laughs> but uh, we might actually still be able to win this. Okay, we're able to get rid of his biggest offensive threat right there. Banded E-Speed takes out everything except for Umbreon and Arcanine right now. Well, everything. It takes out half his team. So he has to go into either Umbreon or Arcanine right here. He actually goes into Cobalion. I don't think you take this, dude. We have 541 attack. Yeah, you don't take this. I mean, if he's just trying to get um, toxic damage, that's fine, but... Like... Don't I win with Beedrill now? Well, technically not, because... Okay, hold on. I'm going into uh, into Glagger to sack it. He goes to the Wish. That's fine. We can go into... Uh, back into Soyphone here. We're just going to go for the U-turn. He goes for the Protect. That's fine. Can we score a crit? Is the question. <laughs> can we score a crit? Because he definitely lives this. Yeah, he lives it. Yeah. If we would have gotten a crit there, we would have been able to knock him out, but... He's probably just going to go for Wish again, as he does. And now he's going to go for Protect. And I actually have to switch back into my Beedrill right here. I can't risk anything. He has to go for Protect. I have to keep playing for the crit. I can't make any other play. I have to play for the crit. I don't get it there. I'm going to go back into Entei. As he just finally decides to foul play. Uh, that's not going to win us the game, though, because he has E-Speed on the uh, Arcanine. Or at least I hope he does. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the U-turn. Yeah, that's GG. 
So that's gonna be a, that was a long, long, long first game. Uh, didn't come out with a win, unfortunately, because I let everything get weakened without uh, having any reliable recovery. See, that's why I don't like not having Roost. Uh, that's why I don't like, yeah, not having Roost. There we go. Uh, on um, on Glagger. It's, uh, it gets weakened way too quickly, especially that he was just toxicing everything. That was really bad, but uh, a couple of bad plays from me. Uh, I wouldn't say that was the team's fault. That was definitely me. Um, there we go. Oh, we're against, we're against the maker of the team. No way. <laughs> Guys, check out Dom. His name is right there. You cannot not check him out now. You know how to spell it. It's in front of you. So go and check him out. Oh man, I lose. I lose. I actually lose. Like, how, how, how do I do this? Do I beat the team's creator? <laughs> That's literally insanity. What? Okay, let's see. Alright, alright. Alright. Let go. I'm recording. <laughs> let's do this. He leads with his Jolteon, so bad lead for us right off the bat. Uh, I'm gonna go for a U-turn. He can go for an HP Ice, that's fine. He goes for a Signal Beam, it's gonna do a little bit of damage. He's not gonna get the Confusion, which is good. That doesn't look like Specs either. Uh, so I'm actually just going to go uh, into my Beedrill. And I'm gonna- I know, I know Dom, I know Dom. He's, he's gonna predict the Protect, and he's gonna switch out into something to, to be able to eat a hit from this. He's not gonna stay in. There's no way he stays in. Because he doesn't have a good switch to this after on his team. <laughs> yeah, okay, perfect. Awesome. So we catch the Frost last. There we go. Get off 40% on that thing. And now we bring in our faster nothing. Uh, and we go into, uh, into Entei. Okay, we'll go into Entei. Uh, I have to let him set up a hazard. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, he doesn't have a switch to a Sacred Fire, though, so he's going to Destiny Vaughn. Should have probably seen that one coming. That's fine, though. That's okay. I didn't need that. Um... What I do need is for Beedrill to come back in here right now because I get outsped by everything. So uh, he goes into Tornadus. I'm not sure if this is Scarfed. I'm kind of worried about it being Scarfed. I'm going to go into Empoleon here just because I don't want to risk it. Um, he goes to the Rain Dance actually. Okay, cool. So he boosts my Scalds, which is awesome. He knows that we're Grass Knot as well. Um, I could just Ice Beam here. But I am just gonna Scald. He's gonna go for a Focus Blast, unfortunately miss. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Alright, and, um... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. He's gonna go for a Focus Blast again. I'm gonna go into, um... He has to go for a Focus Blast. He can't switch this thing out. I'm gonna go into Whimsicott on his next Focus Blast. And he knows I'm on core, uh, but I just got a Spideff drop. Uh, but that's okay, we're actually faster than this. So I can just go for the Moonblast here, as he switches in his Jolteon, which is okay. He takes a huge Moonblast right there, and I'm able to switch out into, um... Uh, I don't really have a good switch to this, actually. I really wanted to keep Whimsicott because it beats the Swampert and the Kingdra outside of Rain. Uh, plus it, it kills the Tornadus now as well. So, I need to keep this, no matter what. What don't I need? Uh, Empoleon's still good. I don't need Tyrantrum, actually. Uh, let me see. Let me just see what he said here. Um, wait, so this is live you're doing with my team? Yes, it is. <laughs> Out on Thursday. <laughs> I'm recording this on Tuesday, guys, by the way. That's, uh, fourth wall broken, but... Uh, Rain is still up, so... I think I just need to, um... Do I have speed this after a Dragon Dance? Hold on. I think I do. Yeah, I do. I do. Goes for another HP Ice. It's going to leave me at 4% uh, right there. Going to go for the D-Dance. And uh, we're just going to click Earthquake. Because it hits everything but the Tornadus. Which, if he switches in his Tornadus, then he's losing Rain Turns. Which is amazing for me. So, uh, he actually loses his last turn of Rain if he makes that play. He knows this set, though. He's going to stay in with his Jolteon. That's perfectly fine. Whimsicott wins, but I need the Rain to not be up. So... Let's see. He's gonna outspeed me here. We know that. Uh, and he's probably just gonna go for the accurate water move, right? Um, yeah, let's just go for Outrage. He's gonna outspeed us. He's gonna hit us with a Surf. That's fine. He's Life Orb. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Um, yeah, I go into um, into Beedrill here. And I click U-turn every time. 
Like, if Kingdra wants to stay in, that's fine. I'll bring in Empoleon, and I will literally click Grass Knot every time. He goes into Swamper, takes a huge U-turn. That's awesome for us. We get to go into our Whimsicott now and click Giga Drain. He knows how much of a threat this thing is now. I'm sure he sees it. The fact that I kept it around. Oh, man. Nice. Glad we kept Little Bo. <laughs> this is literally his nickname, guys. We're beating him with his own team. I'm sorry, Dom. I'm sorry for the hacks earlier as well, if you're watching this back. This is a really... It's a really cool match. I got I got a loss in the first game if you were wondering if you well if you're wondering if you're watching this you probably know by now But um, yeah, so I like the team. I really like the team uh, the, the rain team He brought is really cool though really sucks. We lost Entei that early, but uh, Tyrantrum actually getting a kill Which is really nice. Uh, you mega evolves. We are gonna get off the giga drain. We're not gonna over predict We're gonna get a lot of our health back right there and If his for alligator comes in I'm swapping out actually his tornadoes comes back in um I'm faster prankster than him. Okay, so this is a, this is a precarious situation because he's going to get up his reign regardless. And he is uh, Damp Rock. We know that already. Um, if his Kingdra comes in, it can Ice Beam me. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play it very, very risky here. Um, and I'm going to go directly into Beedrill. On this thing's Rain Dance, because I know he has to Rain Dance. And basically, I go for a poison jab here, and uh, <laughs> it's surreal being dropped on your on your neck by your own creation. <laughs> okay, he goes into for alligator. This is fine. Um, I'm too frail to be able to take an aqua jet though. Uh, do I want to? I can't protect though. I cannot protect on this thing. I have to go for U-turn. If it jets, it jets. There's nothing I can do. But this thing doesn't get swift swim, so it gets destroyed by uh, by a giga drain. And I'm, I'm sure his jet doesn't take me out at this range. Alternatively, I can just go into um, into Empoleon. But we're Shuka, we're not Shoppel. I won't take this thing's hit well. At all. You know what I think can take its hit? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, Gligar. You heard it. You heard it right. I think Gligar can actually take this thing's hit. Uh, I have to go for the Earthquake right here. And then I have to play around the, the the rain turns like really really well. He has so many left. Okay, he has the ice punch. All right, does he have the superpower? Is the question. He's jet ice punch. He probably does. Um, yeah, I have to go for not either way. Okay, he has a waterfall. That did a lot. Wow. Uh, and that's not gonna kill. So we're kind of in a bad position at this point. Uh, how do I beat this? How do I beat this? He's got three turns of rain left. Well, I mean, Waterfall could be a roll. The problem is, he has too much rain. He has way too much rain. Yeah, he's gonna take us out with that. <laughs> okay. All right, he goes for Jet here. Uh, I'm curious to know how much that does in the rain. Um. Waterfall is definitely taking us out. If it did that much to Empoleon, it's definitely taking us out. Because we're not as bulky as Empoleon. So I have to Giga Drain here. Okay, cool. So we're able to knock that out. But now the Kingdra comes in and Ice Beams me. Yeah, GG. GG, buddy. That's fine. If there was any loss I was going to get, it was going to be to uh, to the team's creator. Uh, he goes for a Hydro Pump. He doesn't even click Ice Beam. He goes for the inaccurate move. Wow. Stunting. Stunning on me. Really, Dom? Clicking the inaccurate move. He could have just lost the game. I guess he didn't care. That's cool of him. So, uh, guys, check out Dom for sure. Uh, that's going to be... Uh, I thought you had me. What? What? Are you not Ice Beam? I got lucky with you staying in on Feraligator. Yeah, well, I mean, I couldn't risk you DDing up, dude, or swords dancing even for that matter, because then I really just lost to Jet. Uh, yeah, but uh, no good game. <laughs> should be, yeah, you you probably should be Ice Beam Kingdra. It's it's a really good set. Um, so yeah, GG again, man. Um, on to the next. He's probably gonna like jump in one of my games. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, let's get a third battle here, guys. We did pick up two losses, but I do not mind losing to Dom at all. Dom's a great guy. 
Uh, would have loved to pick up some points on the ladder, but if there was anybody that I was going to give my points to with this team, it was going to be him. So uh, <laughs> I can't believe he was laddering in UU at the same time I was. That's awesome. Um, so, so far, uh, last yesterday's UU episode, if you haven't checked it out, spoilers, but um, we went one and two. And uh, right now we have two losses, so we need to make this back somehow. Um, yeah, I'm leading Empoleon. I see the Swampert, I am leading Empoleon because it's the only thing that stops Beedrill from U-turning. So, well, I mean, stops. It doesn't necessarily stop it from U-turning, but it's it's not a very, uh, it's not, it's not a very powerful U-turn and Poison Jab is resisted, so I think it's resisted. Maybe not. Who knows? Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, Beedrill wins. I just need to get rid of the Gligar. I just need to get rid of the Gligler, Gligler, Gligler and uh, Beedrill wins. Um, rocks are going up, I guess. I don't know. What's this thing going to do? Uh, I'm just going to Scald, honestly, at this point. <laughs> He's messaging me on Skype. He's like, that's so perfect. <laughs> it actually was. That was awesome. What are the odds? But... Um, Mega Kardashian over here is, uh, is our next uh, <laughs> our next Empoleon, yes, uh, our next opponent, and we're gonna try to get uh, off a burn right here, which we do, and a little bit lucky, uh, he's gonna get 15% off, he's not gonna get the burn, and he is leftovers, okay, that's good insight, um, as a matter of fact, knowing that, uh, I will go directly into my Whimsicott, if he wants to go for Stealth Rocks, we will Encore him in, and uh, keep him in there. Uh, he goes for Scald, though. It's going to do 24%. No burn once again. Very unfortunate for him. And, uh, I mean, I could just Encore this. It probably has the Ice Beam, let's be honest. Uh, let's U-turn, actually. Let's see what he does. Okay, he stays in, which means he's probably Ice Beam. Uh, I can go into Entei here. He's probably not going to Scald again. I wouldn't think, anyway. Let's see what he does. He goes for the Ice Beam. Awesome. Don't freeze, please. Thank you. Um, and now... Now something's dying. <laughs> I'm clicking Flare Blitz, and this is going down. Yeah, straight away. I don't mind the health uh, on Kieran being lost. Kieran, Kieran, that's that's from something too, and I can't pinpoint it right now. Um, I have no counter to this. This thing's actually really, really scary. Uh, I might just Flare Blitz it, honestly, because it's mega, right? Yeah, do I need this? Uh, kind of. At the same time, I don't. Um, yeah, no, let's just click Flare Bits, I think it's fine. I, I cannot speak anymore after that game. That was crazy. He goes for the Ice Punch, actually. Okay, awesome. Uh, so now he's going to go for the Water Move. Uh, and predicting that, I'm going to go into Empoleon. Uh, Empoleon doesn't outspeed, but he's he's probably not going to click Earthquake, I wouldn't think, because I do have a Glagger in the back, uh, and a Whimsicott, which can both come in on this thing's uh, Earthquake, so... Uh, he goes for the Ice Punch again, awesome. Uh, and we are Shooka, so we will be able to live the Earthquake, I believe, from this range. And uh, I'll go for the Grass Knot here. Goes for the Earthquake, we are Shooka. We do live that on 14, and we are able to get off a Grass Knot and take out the Mega Swampert. And we conserve our Entei, which is awesome. That's the most important part, is that we were able to keep Entei alive. And it might be Sack Fodder right here. <laughs> um, no, actually, I can probably go into uh, Tyrantrum. It's not going to appreciate it, but... Uh, he might go for an electric move, so this might be the play. Let's see how much this does. Goes for it. 74%. <laughs> Alright. If that's not specs, I don't know what it is. Um, what do I have for this? Like, honestly. Actually, no, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna go for head smash. Okay. Just switching your glider. <laughs> Why not? Uh, let's go for the dragon dance. Because if he earthquakes, then we get a free switch back into Empoleon, I think. If this thing, uh, no, this thing would be faster than our Empoleon, I think. Possibly. We'll see. Um, I mean, Dragon Dancing is just the play because he's, he could roost. That's, that's what I'm most fearing, is the roost. Uh, he might think we're banded, but we're not at all. <laughs> so, uh, the thing is, if I get up a Dragon Dance, he could l legitimately lose right here. So, maybe Dragon Dancing isn't the play. Uh, this is stronger. Yeah, I'm just going for Head Smash again, because actually, if he lets me Dragon Dance up, he loses the game. Straight away. I just have to hit Head Smashes, obviously. Well, I can even lock myself in Outrage, and everything just drops. Except for Uniclus, if it's physically defensive, but even that doesn't want to take a hit. So, and then I just E-Speed Sweep with Entei. 
So let's go for another head smash. He should attack me here. Goes for the knockoff, gets rid of Ariachi Berry. So very risky play right there once again. And uh, now I'm just gonna go for another head smash and take out his Gligar. Awesome, okay, so that thing's out of the way. Uh, I think his Porygon Z comes back in here. As it does, awesome. Uh, we are going to click head smash again. I'm gonna sack off this Tyrantrum because now it can't do anything. And now I'm gonna go into B Drill and Shino B Drill. <laughs> click uh, Protect. And uh, if he wants to stay in, that's perfectly fine. We know he's not Scarfed. We know he is not Scarfed because a resisted hit should not do 75%. I know we're bad Spit F, but like I'll show you guys right now what the calc is for a um, for a Scarfed Porygon Z. We're gonna grab Scarfed just so I can show you guys how little it actually does. Porygon Z, you try Scarf, Adaptability versus Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum, uh, well, let's just say OU Dragon Dance. Try attack those 42 to 53. So that's not Scarf. So we get off the U turn right there. We're able to sack off our Empoleon, and we bring back in our B Drill, and we click Poison Jab. No matter what, we click Poison Jab, and we just get a kill. So here it comes. Uh, if he wants to switch in his Reuniclus, he has to take a U-turn, so that would be fine by me. Uh, if he goes into Reuniclus after this, what I'm going to do is go into... Um, I'm going to U-turn into Whimsicott in case he recovers. He actually chooses to go into Roserade, so... That's actually kind of scary because he might be Scarfed. Like, legitimately, he might be Scarfed. I'm actually going to Protect on this turn. Because if he is Scarfed, I want to see what he locks himself into. Because he was Specs Porygon Z, right? So he doesn't have any other potential Scarfer on his team. Goes for the Sludge Bomb, which is not going to take me out anyway. So I'm going to go for the U-turn. It's going to do 82%. I'm going to go into our uh, Gligar, <laughs> Citizen Snips. Take the Sludge Bomb, no problem. Uh, we're going to go for a U-turn right here. If he is Synthesis, that is fine. He goes for the Giga Drain. This U-turn is going to do about what he just... Uh, well, even more, actually, than what he just uh, gained back. Um, and now we can just go for the Jab. And again, if his Reuniclus comes in after, I just U-turn, go into Whimsicott on the Recover, Encore it into Recover, and then just start spamming Moonblast. So that's going to be a good game against Mega Kardashian. Let's try to make it 2-2 two two because I don't want to disappoint Dom with his team. We already lost to him. Uh, I don't want to lose. Uh, I don't want to lose two games and only get one win today, guys. It's gonna be a little bit of a longer live, but uh, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, so very solid team on my opponent's side with a Mega Agron, uh, Snorlax. He pretty much brought every like big threat <laughs> in uh, in the UU meta game. Minus Entei, he decided Rotom Heat was better, I guess. Um, I mean, I have no reason not to lead with B Drill, um, except for this thing, I guess. I'm just gonna protect on turn one. I lose nothing. Uh, if he's Scarfed, does he outspeed me? I don't think so. Let's get out a calculator. 298 times 1.5. I don't believe so. Goes for the overheat. 298 times 1.5. Well, that's not how you do it. Times 1.5. 447. So yes. Yes, he does. Um, I go hard into uh, Tyrantrum here. Whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> Tyrantrum's looking pretty strong here. Uh, he goes for another overheat, so he's obviously Scarfed. Uh, he gets his Lord Special Attack. And I'm really, really tempted to just go for an Earthquake here, guys. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And he brings in his Whimsicott. Okay, that was a good play. Predicting my Dragon Dance, I guess, which was solid. Um, I can just go into uh, Empoleon here on this turn. As he goes for a U-turn, another very good play. Uh, there's nothing really he can go into to knock me out unless his Rotom is Specs, maybe? Uh, yeah, this isn't gonna knock me out. I don't think, anyway. No, Volt Switch is not gonna- is not gonna knock out an Empoleon. Not from a Rotom Heat. He goes for Trick, actually, giving me his Scarf. So, he gets a Shooka Berry, he's gonna take this Scald and get knocked out. So now we have a Scarfed Empoleon, guys! Uh, what can we do with this? We can do a lot of things, actually. Um, just Scarf Scald everything is really solid. He can't bring in his Aggron right now because he risks getting burned. Uh, if he brings in his Whimsicott, he risks getting burned. Like, I'm I'm pretty fast at 250. Uh, Snorlax comes in, though. Uh, and I'm just gonna go for Scald. If he wants to start cursing up, that's fine. I can go into, uh, Whimsicott. Goes for the return, predicting my switch. I'm not gonna switch out on you, bro. 
this Empoleon is scarfed at this point. He goes for Curse. Uh, I'm going to go for another Scald on this turn. And uh, he is going to go for the return, predicting my uh, Whimsicott to come in. I'm going to go into Whimsicott on this turn, actually, as he goes for Rest. Awesome. And now we can Encore him into it, so I don't see him staying in, uh, per se. So I'm going to actually go for U-Turn. Okay, he does stay in. That's okay. Uh, I can go into... I'm gonna go into um, into Gligar here. He's just gonna sleep talk anyway. Uh, sleep talk's a curse. That's all right. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Stealth Rocks on this turn, and he is going to go for the curse again. And now we have to uh, just Earthquake, I think. Yeah, just Earthquake away. He's just gonna return anyway. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. He's uh, he's very slow though. That's the good <laughs> that's the good part about this is that he's very very slow. Uh, if we get a crit earthquake, that would be cool, but um, I'm not praying for hacks right here. Uh, does a plus three return take out Tyrantrum? I don't think it does. We actually get a crit return, uh, crit earthquake. All right, awesome. Um, now beating this thing is very, very hard for me right now. It's very, very difficult because I basically have to make him rest and then encore him into it. So let's go for Scald. We're faster than this thing. If we get off a burn, uh, then Tyrantrum can actually set up on it. We do not get a burn, unfortunately. Empoleon is going to go down right there. Uh, I have to go into uh, into my Tyrantrum and go for the Dragon Dance. Honestly, I should be able to take this. Not a problem. Uh, as he goes for the return, uh, we do resist that. And uh, this Head Smash is not going to do a tremendous amount. But it might put him in Sacred Fire or Flare Blitz range. Well, no, he's... I might put him in Poison Jab range. We will see, though. Uh, return. And now I'm going to go into uh, Beedrill. And I'm going to U-turn out. As he will more than likely click uh, Rest. Yep, he does. And I'm going to Encore him into it. And then we are going to start firing off some Moon Blasts. Uh, and lower this thing a lot. Uh, he can't do anything. He has to keep resting, basically. Uh, I don't know when his Encore ends, though. That's the problem. Uh, he actually wakes up there. He's going to go for rest. That's fine. We can keep Encoring him into it. Uh, it doesn't bother me at all. Eventually, I'm going to uh, wear this thing down enough. Uh, yeah, exactly. So he finally decides to switch out into his Aggron. That's the best thing that could have happened for us because we needed that thing out of there ASAP. Uh, and now it's actually asleep, which is great. So... How do I beat the rest of his team now? Now that I sacked everything off. <laughs> uh, I gotta go for U-turn right here. He's probably just gonna Earthquake me, uh, is what I would expect. But Earthquake shouldn't be able to take out uh, Entei from full. It definitely takes out uh, Beedrill, but not Entei. Let's see what he does. Uh, he goes for the Heavy Slime, actually. Okay, so I don't agree with that play at all. But um, I'm just gonna go for the, uh, the Flare Blitz, probably. I mean, he doesn't have a Switch, right? No, let's go for Sacred Fire. Uh, he brings in his Whimsicott to sack it. That's okay. We will destroy that thing <laughs> with a Sacred Fire. Uh, brings back in his Lax. I have to go hard into Beedrill here. I can't risk anything. Uh, I have to win with Entei. Entei's my only way to win because of the Crobat. Uh, he Sleep Talks the Rest. Awesome. Uh, we're going to go for Poison Jab here. It should do a lot. 50%. Awesome. He's going to wake up. He's going to go for the return. He's going to knock us out. He is not. Awesome. And now we have to go for the... I have to go for the poison jab again. I can't. Uh, I can't do anything else. I have to go for jab and risk the roll, I guess, because he's at 50. Uh, he's actually going to go on to his crowbat. That's a good play. There we go. Uh, that's actually going to do 32%, which is more than I expected. Wow, <laughs> that's a resisted hit. This one's quad resisted, so it'll do a lot less. Uh, it takes 15%. I'm going to go into uh, Entei directly because I have to. And he is going to go for the Brave Bird, obviously. Uh, does another one take me out? No, it doesn't, as a matter of fact. Um, I need to keep this specifically for the Aggron. I cannot let it... Ugh, do I Sacred Fire here? I mean, he's not switching out his Crobat, let's be real. Yeah, I'm going for E-Speed. He's not switching this out. Nope. All right, um, how do I win this game? That is the question. How do I win this game? I need to... 
I need I needed to make sure that the for alligator didn't set up on me. He's gonna go into uh, Agron. I can sack off my Beedrill at this point. I don't need it anymore. Uh, he goes for the heavy slam. That's fine. I'm gonna go into Kirin. I'm gonna go for the Sacred Fire because I have to. I do not have another play. And uh, then it all comes down to can Whimsicott on its own pull out the win? And I don't know if it can. Like I can keep encoring him into rest. He actually goes straight into Gator. He risks the burn on his Feraligator. That's crazy. I have to go directly into Whimsicott if I want to win this game. I can't risk the Waterfall. Yeah. And I have to Giga Drain. He goes into his Agron. Yep. There's nothing I could do there. I had to make that play. I had to go for Giga Drain because if I if I doubled into um, into NT and he stayed in, I lost. So. Does he even have anything to touch my Entei with? Hold on, that is the question, isn't it? Can I win with Entei alone? How much does Sacred do? 40? I think I can. I think I can actually win. I just need to calculate on Thick Fat Snorlax. Because it basically resists it. Uh, from Entei. Can you knock him out with a Sacred Fire? No, no you can't. You can knock him out with a, um, with, with a Flare Blitz, though. What if he doesn't have Jet on his Gator? Because he went for Waterfall. Like, that was ballsy. Well, I guess technically not. Um, yeah, you know what? I have to Moonblast here. I have to do it. He goes for the Earthquake, actually, which is awesome. Uh, and if he goes for... Oh, wait a minute. I can Encore him in. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Encore him into it. As he goes for another Earthquake, that's going to fail to knock us out. Which means we automatically get off a Moonblast right here. We know what he's locked into. He does not appreciate rocks at all. Actually, hold on a second. 36, 38, how much does E-Speed do? Ah, oh, no, it's not enough. Okay, so we have, to, we have to keep our fingers crossed, guys. We have to really hope that he does not have Jet. That is the only thing we can do. Because there's no way E-Speed is taking this thing out. I just thought about it. There's no way. Come on. <laughs> this is a mega aggron. We're doing like, yeah, we're doing eight to nine. Yeah, I have to go for Blitz. It's the only, uh, it's the only move that knocks out the Snorlax at the range it's at. Uh, I mean, if he's Scarf Gator, he, he got me. Uh, it goes into Lax. It's at 38. Um, we can knock it out with a Blitz, I believe. Snorlax. Okay, so that tells me he doesn't have it. Uh, Snorlax, Flare Blitz, 33 to 39. It's a heck of a high roll. Curse Lax normally runs 144, 188. He might be less than that. Let's go for it. Let's see. It might be Max Spadef. Who knows? That would be awesome. We fail to knock him out, and that is going to be a good game as he rests. So that's going to be the end of the live right there, guys. Unfortunately, we were not able to pick up that win. We missed out on the KO by 3%, and that's going to be that. So I hope you enjoyed uh, getting three losses. If you did, leave a like down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you want to keep, see keep seeing me lose. No, nah, I'm not going to keep losing. I'm going to start using my own teams again. And uh, we're going to get back up some points in the UU ladder. Because I really enjoy this ladder, man. UU is so, so fun compared to OU right now. Not to diss OU at all or any of the players that play it. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's going to be it for me, guys. I will catch you guys later. Ciao.